This right here is a 1970 Volkswagen Beetle, and in my own opinion, it is the best car $1,000 can get you. Your options are very limited. It's either this or a beat-up Honda Accord with 250,000 miles on the clock with a blown head gasket and a straight pipe exhaust because everyone wants to hear that VTEC, but personally, I would go with the Volkswagen Beetle. Not only is this car a blast to drive, but it also spits flames. <laughs> A stock Volkswagen Beetle. Stock. Spits flames. He didn't even know that. My buddy Nick that owns this car didn't even know that. We were driving around and I heard it popping and everything. And I was like, pull over. This bitch is spitting flames. And he's like, really? You think so? And we pulled over and we recorded it. And yep, it spit flames. If you're getting into the car scene, this car will put you right smack dab in the middle. You're automatically pretty much in a car club. Everyone I think that owns a Volkswagen Beetle, right when you buy it, I think the DMV straight up just sends you like a bunch of lists of car clubs because there are so many car clubs that you can fit into with a Volkswagen Beetle and you can build it however you want. Do you wanna go and make some custom hot rod? Boom, Volkswagen Beetle. You wanna stance it out? Boom, Volkswagen Beetle. You wanna race it like my buddy Nick? You can do that. And no, it's not just classic roll racing like you see me doing. He's actually going down to the Baja 1000 in Mexico. It's class 11 racing. It's stock Beetles with just some minor changes to the suspension. That way it can at least go off-roading safely. But that, that's all it is. He's gonna throw a roll cage in it, stock motor, stock everything else, and uh, just go race it. Yeah, sounds like a blast to me. $1,000, boom, you got a race car. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that sound like fun? Anyway, this car, you're, you're never going to be bored with this car. You can always go and do something to this car. If you own this car every day during the week, you can pretty much restore something on it or change something on it. You want to go and restore the headlights? Sure. You want to change up the wheels? Sure. You want to go ahead and, and, you know, ding out all of those little dings? You can do all that. That's the great thing about a Volkswagen Beetle is you can change it every day and work on it. And so as a high schooler, someone that is looking for a car that has a very limited budget, I recommend this car. I don't think you would be disappointed in it. I think personally, it was a really fun car to drive and also a really easy car to drive, surprisingly. Now, when I got in this car, the pedal configuration actually kind of confused me because like a normal car, you have the pedals dangling. On this car, they're actually on the floor and they push forward. So it's a really weird feeling, but you get used to it really quick. And driving this car, which is a manual, it was super easy. Probably one of the easiest cars I've ever driven manual. I thought the Nissan 200SX was easy. This car, it might be because it's so small and so light. It's just super Super easy it just wants to go I, I don't even think it's possible to stall out on one of these cars it is stupid easy I think the only scary part of this car was the braking I think that was the only thing that really took some getting used to because it's got four drum brakes all the way around that's all no disc brakes I know there's conversions and everything like that but no disc brakes so when you're slowing down you're in this tiny little bug but it feels like you're trying to slow down a full-on semi-truck because you're, you're pressing and you're pressing and you're pressing and you're just not slowing down. You see the taillights getting closer. You feel like you're about to eat the ass of this soccer mom car. And it, again, it is a, you, you got to brake earlier. You just got to brake earlier. On the, or you go with disc brakes, which is what I would recommend. But um, yeah, it, that, that was the only thing that like I had to get used to because I'm used to either my Mustang or my, my motorcycle to where I can brake fairly quick. But in this car, I'm getting up on car's ass and I'm like, holy shit, I'm not slowing down, I'm not slowing down, I'm not slowing down. And then you really stomp on it and then it starts to go. You got to really press on it. You got to stomp on it really hard. Uh, but that, that was it. That was the only scary part of driving this car. Now in my book, the thing that probably had me smiling the most was the backfires because it's just so satisfying when you're driving and every shift, you know, wah, shoo, pa, wah, shoo, pa. every time it just does it and it, like you could predict it and you'll see i started doing it and i wanted it, i wanted the gopro to capture it so hopefully it did but uh you'll see it in a second like it was just so much fun just doing that and you don't have to worry about it too you can do that in a lot of cars trust me i'm sure a lot of your guys is hondas and brz's and you know all your, your 350s i'm sure they, they all do it too but i don't have to worry about it in this car there's no cops that are gonna pull me over because I'm doing it in a Volkswagen Beetle. It's legal, technically, in this car. The the smog emissions, nope, don't have to worry about that. You can go ahead and do whatever you want to this car. Straight pipe it all you want, no sound, no smog. Don't have to worry because it's 1970s and in California, the cutoff date was 1975, so spit flames all day. Throw a two-step shit on this bitch. I wanna hear this thing two-step.
Now, since it is GoPro audio, it is kind of quiet, but you guys get my point. Every every shift, every time you let off the gas, it's just ba 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 ba. It's just popping, and in person, you can you can hear it and you can feel it inside the car. It sounds nice, and it's fun to drive. And I can imagine at night, you, you can very clearly see it. We were doing this at, in the afternoon sometime, but even then, like in the video in the beginning, you can still see that little flames are coming out of those tiny little exhaust pipes. I can only imagine at night, it probably it probably would be a damn light show back there. All right, moving on, let me talk about the interior. So you, you can't really expect much from a 70s car, let alone a 70s bug. These cars weren't built to be very luxurious and comfortable. They were built very cheaply and made so everyday people can own them. And you kind of get the gist of that on the interior. There is no AC, like I said before. The AC is just those windows. You just direct the air right at your face, and that's that's your AC. Uh, there is a kind of a heater. There's vents that run to the engine, and it just kind of lets heat just soak in i guess it's not it's not really a heater uh it's missing his rear view mirror because it just it got sun rotted it just cracked off uh the lights and everything do work on the interior you can dim and everything uh the little gauges well gauge my bad you can dim the gauge <laughs> and all that but the interior is very limited it's comfortable but like i said before i think after a while it would it would get uncomfortable uh after, after like say you go on a, a couple hour road trip i can't imagine it would be that comfortable after that but now i know there's probably at least one of you guys thinking it so I'll try to answer this question. Hey, Drew, can you clap cheeks in the back seat? Uh, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I didn't climb back there. It didn't look like there was too much room. But if you're creative and if she's flexible, I'm sure it can happen. You just got to put your mind to it. Anything is possible. So go ahead. You can try it out. Maybe the seats recline. I forgot to ask him. Uh, I don't know if they do. But if the front seats recline, I think you got enough room. But I don't know about the back seat. Now, moving to the exterior, I think this is the best looking bug. Now, there's not much competition. I mean, best looking bug doesn't really hold that much value because all of the other bugs look like Barbie cars. But this one right here is a great looking bug. And what you can do with it is, again, the sky is the limit. You can turn this just about into anything your heart desires. And I'm sure there's already been someone that has done it. So you can follow little forums on how they did it. And it's just, you can do whatever you want with this car. Legit, anything. I've seen some crazy ass shit online of what people have done to these cars. I'll show, I'll throw in some pictures right here, but you, you can do whatever. So to wrap up this review, I think personally the Volkswagen Bug has been one of the most fun cars I've had to review so far. I went into this review thinking, okay, I'm just going to drive around a Bug. It's going to feel like an old Bug and that's going to be it. I didn't expect any of these little surprises with the backfiring and the pretty comfy seats. And just the whole aesthetic of it is just pretty nice. I didn't expect any of that. I just expected, like I said, the bare minimum. And so if you go into a, a Bug expecting bare minimum, you will be surprised. They are pretty nice cars. And again, for a thousand bucks, now I know there are some that are more, but for a thousand bucks, you can't really go wrong. For a high school student just saving up for his first car, I think this would be a great first car because like I said before, you're going to learn a lot with this car. You're going to learn how to turn wrenches. You're going to learn how to fix your body work. You're going to learn how to appreciate something. You're not just going to get handed a car. Anyone can get handed a brand new Honda Civic. Anyone can get handed the hand-me-down BMW. Anyone can do that. But to put your time and effort and money into a car and make it your own, I think that's really cool, and I think, again, that, that you're going to appreciate it a lot more. I've seen people get handed cars, and they don't appreciate it. They just don't. They just don't care about it. They just do whatever they want to it because they didn't do anything. They didn't work for it. It just got into their possession, and that's it. Either mommy or daddy bought it or some other way. When you put your own time, your own money into a car, you're going to appreciate it a lot more, and you might even find a career that you like to follow. Maybe you'll find in the future, like, hey, I really like bodywork. Maybe I'll get into the bodyworking field, or hey, I really like wrenching. I really want to start and become a mechanic. I don't know. You can do whatever you want, and I'm still thinking about it. I mean, for a thousand bucks, shit, I might go buy one of these myself. It'd be a pretty fun project just to go ahead and restore or make it into my own, so I don't know, but personally, like I said, I think all around these old Beetles are very nice cars. I see why there's a big cult following for them. I understand it now. Even just driving at one 
once you get it you you get why like it's just a different feeling when you drive this compared to a newer car this car feels like an old car it feels really metallic it feels like a man's car anyway i just want to thank nick for letting me review his car check out his instagram i linked it in the beginning it'll also be linked in the description so go ahead and check out his instagram he does a lot of that baja 1000 shit with the trophy truck he does a lot of racing stuff so nick let me review your raptor in the future i want to check that shit out so uh let me do that please uh anyway if you guys want me to review your car and you're in socal go ahead and send a message with your car and photos to my gmail drewpeacock.reviews at gmail.com it'll be linked in the description because i know some of you are really bad at hearing i guess and i always get that comment i didn't hear what he said can anyone link the gmail it's in the description just go check it out please only submit your car if it's not a super basic ass car if i wanted to go test drive a stock scion frs or an frs with a cold air intake I could go do that. Uh, only submit your car if it's different or if it's heavily modified or if it's something weird or random. Please, uh, thank you. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, support the channel, pick up some merch, and until next video, peace.